All right, let's talk about pocket knives. I have uh, fairly narrow constraints on this, and I just wanted to show sort of the um, the quick evolution of where I started from pocket knife wise and where I've ended up now. Uh, this is actually not the start of this. This is a CKRT um, Razzle. I don't think they make these anymore. Um, and they made these in a number of configurations. This is the smallest of these. Uh, and it's neat because it has a full blown chiseled uh, front on it. That's not, that's not dull. That's actually like a, it's a full blown scraping chisel. Um, and these were done in collaboration with Graham knives. And it's got like a, a horn handle or something on it. Um, and this is the first pocket knife, uh, well, this is not the first of these I got, but this is one of the first uh, everyday carry knives I picked up. Um, and there were some good things about it and some bad things about it. Um, it came with a clip, but I, I think I'm yet to have um, a knife from CKR, uh, from CRKT not have the clip fail. This one, I think, stripped here and here, and just like the whole clip came off. And then that was secondary, in fact, to the problem with just how thick this knife actually is. The the scales and the... the um, the liners are crazy heavy duty on this thing. And so it just doesn't fit in your pocket very well. I really like the shape of it, um, but it would just it wasn't particularly practical for an everyday carry. It was a big lump in your pocket. Um, so that's where I started. And then uh, after that, there were a series of knives from this maker, because for whatever reason, I kind of liked the maker. I still do, I guess. Um, and they had a bunch of like sort of smallish uh, pocket knives and I kept losing them. Um, like the clips would fail or they'd slide or get snagged or whatever and they'd just sort of go away um, and that led me to this this is a um, this is a Kershaw I think it's a chili um, this is not an expensive knife at all um, and it is you can see it is uh, directly in response to this guy it is um, super thin liners super thin scales um, it's a flipper, which I had never had before. It's not an especially good flipper, or I don't have it adjusted right. I've never had a flipper that worked the way they're supposed to. Um, and I've, I've shied away from them. Um, but uh, it's a liner lock. It's got a decent clip on the thing. It is not a very fancy knife. Again, these are very lightweight. Um, and it was I kept losing those, so I was like, maybe I'll try a less expensive knife, see if I can get a good bargain knife. Uh, and this was reasonably good. This is pretty good carry in a pair of regular pants. It doesn't take a whole lot of space up. Um, again, the flipping action is not the best I've ever had, um, but it's it's not a terrible pocket knife. I would still put this into rotation. So after that, I wanted, uh, after my disappointment with the flipper mechanism on that, um, I had a thing, and I'd had some uh, some assisted openers from CRKT before, and I liked theirs. They have a kind of a weird pin that you press down on and push, and then it deploys. Um, anyway, so I checked out uh, an SOG, um, and this is a Flash 2, I think. And this is the second one of these I've had. My first one had a um, bright yellow handle on it, and it was like a drop point, uh, like a half serrated drop point, and I lost that, and that really bums me out because the yellow was, was super, super cool. Um, anyway, this was a replacement for that. Uh, these have a lock back here, which I don't especially love. Um, but these guys uh, are, this is a Tanto. I really don't like Tanto knives very much. I, I just don't find them especially useful for, for an everyday carry blade. Um, but I had this. Uh, uh, there were things I liked about this knife. Um, plenty I didn't like. Um, I love, this is a great uh, clip on these. It lets them ride really deep. You can see it extends up there. And when your um, when your pocket has like a like a hem at the top of it, like a pair of jeans, where it has like that thick roping at the top of the pocket, that will slide into here, and it'll, the the knife will sit really comfortably. The downside of this guy uh, is sort of twofold. One, uh, I didn't like the blade shape on this one. I preferred my old blade shape quite a lot more. I don't like the the unlocking mechanism a lot. I mean, it's it's fine. It just it's not super convenient. Um, and the action on it is is very sort of like heavy. Like when you deploy it, ugh, it like it snaps open really positively, but like closing it, it feels uh, kind of like I don't know, very heavy spring detent. Um, but the real big problem with this knife uh, is it was just too big. Look at the look at the size of the thing. That's like, that's a like you want to open an envelope and you don't want to scare anybody half to death. This is not the knife that you want to use for that. 
So I went with something a little bit smaller, and I saw I had, I had stumbled across this. Um, so this is a this is also a Kershaw, um, but this is a Kershaw designed with Emerson, um, and so. Uh, it has um, that thumb disc, and I'd always wanted to try a knife with those, and that's, I really actually kind of like that. It's um, it's a lot less obtrusive than a lot of the studs that these guys often have. Um, and it was back to like a proper shaped blade, which is kind of nice. So this is a Kershaw with Emerson, so it's like a, it's like a less expensive um, uh, way to get entry in some of like Emerson's design stuff. So it has this um, this hook here. So when you pull this knife, it rides. Um, there's your clip, lovely clip on it. No liner. Uh, excuse me. No. Um, so it's just a liner on this side, which is kind of nice. Anyway, it keeps the thickness quasi reasonable. It is a fairly heavy knife, if I'm honest. If you look at the the thickness of that, um, there's quite a lot of metal on that side. Um, so it rides this way, and when you deploy, when you pull the knife out of your pocket, this hook will snag on the edge of your pocket. And when you keep pulling the knife up and it snags, it actually like it'll pull the blade all the way out. So by the time the knife is out of your pocket, the blade is already out and locked. Um, so this, despite having no springs and no assist and you know nothing of that sort, actually deploys faster than this guy does. Um, which is sort of interesting. Um, this one has more drama, I suppose, right? Like you pull the knife and then you deploy it, but this guy um, is is way faster <laughs> with no complexity. It's just like a simple liner lock knife. It's a really elegant thing. Uh, get that out of here. So, uh, so I was carrying this for a good long time, um, and I liked it. But again, it's just it's a little bit big. You go, you know, I work at a, I work in an office, and I go to like you know get a splinter out of myself or, you know, open an envelope or whatever, like sort of finicky little task that I need. Really, I needed like a pen knife, right? But this is what I had with me and I'm, I'm pulling out this, you know, fairly substantial lump of steel and it was just a bit off-putting. Um, I, I like it, but it's heavy and it's big. And so then I ended up with this. And so you can see here the size difference between these two. Let's get this lined up. Between those two, this one's probably three quarters of an inch shorter than this one, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it also has um, scales on both sides, uh, which is nice, and very thin liners, which I kind of like. So it's a lot less heavy, um, and in uh, most other ways, it had every single attribute that I liked about the previous knife, just scaled down nicely. Uh, so it's a it's this lovely, it's kind of hard to tell in this light, but it's a lovely dark green color instead of black, so it reads a little bit less, I don't know, offensively or um, uh, uh, aggressively, maybe. It has a black coated blade. I was unsure about that, but I find myself not minding. I'm not like in love with the black, but it's it's okay. Um, uh, but it's like, it's a lovely size for a pocket knife. It sits in my pocket really comfortably. It's easy to carry. It's not as intimidating for a lot of people if they see me pull this thing out. So I don't set off any alarms with people. Um, so I like this. I guess this guy and this guy are sort of my actual favorites for like proper everyday carry. Now, like I said, I work in a office, and so my everyday tasks are different than, might very well be different than yours. If I was um, working in a more industrial environment, or if I was still working in like a shipping and receiving department or something like that, I'd be really tempted to be carrying one of these guys, because I'd want something a bit heavier duty, something I could put up with a bit more like rough everyday use. I wouldn't mind the weight, because I'd be wearing um, uh, work pants instead of uh, like office pants, right? But for what I'm doing now, these two guys are lovely. Um, this one gets used around the house sort of all the time. It's a it's a nice short little thing, and that chisel point can really be useful. It's also a super thick spine on here, so like it's got some prying and some and some. It's a it's a very stable knife, I guess. Yeah, wildly overbuilt. Um, but yeah, this is this is the jam for right now. I'm sort of sad that this lineup doesn't include sort of like the other the other flash I had and any of the other CRKTs that I had. Um, and sort of like the full evolution of that stuff, but you know, I suppose that's the nature of these things. Um, and a lot of those are out of pro a lot of the knives that I've lost from these guys are out of production now, so I couldn't replace them if I wanted without sort of going through the rigmarole of um, of eBay. And I'm just not um, I'm not interested in tracking them down again. Anyway, quick rundown on pocket knives and where I'm at and what I like and why I like it. Smaller, lighter, thinner. 
um, less tactical looking, um, I think, anyway, maybe. <laughs> um, and I've moved away from, uh, from assisted uh, deployment. Assisted opening? Assisted opening. So there you go. Oh, and not expensive. None of these are particularly expensive knives. I'm not, these, not I view knives as, um, as tools, uh, which doesn't mean they can't be expensive, but uh, I view knives as tools, and I also know from history that I tend to lose them, or I often lose them, and so I'm unwilling to invest in fancy, fancy knives um, that I'm going to beat on and likely lose eventually, because that would make me very sad. Anyway, there you go.